very good morning to all of you this is dr pratamesh kothadekar a third year radio diagnosis resident at dy patil hospital kolhapur today i am going to present uh, my topic on paper presentation fetal foot length for assessment of gestational age in pregnancy so since the beginning of time medical diagnostic has always been challenging even from the beginning of mankind hesitant attempt to heal itself of illness and uhg is one among the the diagnostic tools that have been extremely important in diagnosis of broad variety of medical disorders particular particularly in obstetric and gynecology ultrasonography has revolutionized the diagnosis and management over time especially in obstetrics it has significantly influenced the management and process in decision making the key component of any obstetric case management is the accurate estimation of gestational age so firstly we will see why femur fetal foot length is a essential parameter which needs to be measured the gestational age uh, it can be determined using mean sac diameter and crown lump length in the early stages of pregnancy whereas uh four basic anatomical parameters such as bi uh, biparietal diameter head circumference abdominal circumference and the femur length they have been used in second and third trimester however there are few circumstances where the head is distinctively rounded such as in brachycephaly or in case of dolichocephaly it's elongated when the measurement of the bpd it might either exaggerate or undervalue the gestational age and there are certain conditions where there is variation in the liver size and subcutaneous tissue uh, in case of fetal macrosomia or the growth retarded fetuses uh, they have been demonstrated to cause shifts in abdominal circumference measurements the underestimation of femur length and consequently gestational age is caused by femur achondroplasia then the conditions like hydrocephalus and encephaly short limb dysplasia and child bearing women in the third trimester having an engaged skull we need to utilize an additional parameter to calculate the gestational age and hence fetal foot length constitutes the relevant parameter due to its ease of measurement and evaluation this study therefore presents an over evaluation of fetal foot length in fetuses ultimately determining the best index that can potentially be employed as an adjuvant parameter in determining gestational age between 15 to 40 weeks of gestation now what are the various material and methods followed the source of data is the pregnant woman bearing only one child between 15 to 40 weeks of gestation the study place is uh, department of radio diagnosis at dy patil medical college hospital kolhapur the study period is 18 months the sample size was uh, 200 pregnancies which were fulfilling the inclusion and exclusion criteria then the type of study is prop prospective observational cross sectional study now these are the inclusion exclusion criteria followed the inclusion criteria included pregnant women bearing only one child between 15 to 40 weeks of gestation then the referred antenatal cases at dy patil hospital kolhapur pregnant ladies who have undergone dating scan then the exclusion criteria excluded pregnancy with more than one fetus structural anomalies foot anomalies in fetuses iugr oligohydramnios polyhydramnios and pregnancy induced hypertension and gestational diabetes mellitus now the methodology followed uh, in our <clears throat> study is uh, 200 pregnant women were studied between 15 to 40 weeks of gestation they underwent a regular uhg fetal biometry and foot length assessment the dates of pregnancies were determined using these parameters also the standard fetal biometry was noted such as the bpd femur length hc and abdominal circumference then the model ac models accuracy in estimating gestational age have, have been compared to one another and there was no invasive procedure performed on research participants neither the baby nor the mother was harmed or exposed to radiation as a result we are of using ultrasound use then according to hospital procedure a routine investigation and antenatal checkup were performed and also written consent was obtained uh, for this study from the participants the statistical analysis considered biometric indices and foot length which were utilized to create linear regression models for estimating gestational age comparisons were done between the precision of models determining gestational age 
with p value being less than 0 0.05 statistically significant was deemed to have been attained in the study and ms excel was utilized for the analysis of data then these are certain observations and results which uh, were seen in the study the first uh, table shows uh, the distribution of cases according to age so we can see that majority of cases in our study were lied uh, between the age in years 18 to 34 years and maximum percentage of cases lied in the age group 20 to 25 years the second table shows that majority of instances involved women which were pregnant for the first time that is primary gravida out of 200 uh, 140 of them were primary gravida where the rest were multi gravida then this third is the frequency distribution table of cases according to gestational age where maximum percentage lied between 30 weeks to uh, 33 weeks of gestation it was discovered that uh, the table for showed that it was discovered that the bipyramidal diameter was a reliable marker for estimating gestational age for the first few weeks of pregnancy to the tw uh, 24th week when bipyramidal diameter is the only factor considered for determining gestational age near term sensitivity decreases as in case of head circumference, it was discovered that it was a reliable marker for estimating gestational age from first few weeks of pregnancy to 24th week. And if it is the only factor considered for determining gestational age, the near term sensitivity decreases. Then the abdominal circumference, it was discovered that it is also a reliable marker for estimating gestational age throughout pregnancy. Whereas in case of femur length, uh, it was seen it, that it was a best indicator for assessing gestational age throughout the pregnancy in our study. Then the case of uh, petal foot length. Our research demonstrate that there is a strong association between petal foot length and gestational age as well as a clear linear relationship between the two with p-value being less than 0 0.001. Also the femur uh, foot length is to femur length is to foot length ratio calculated it was observed that our data indicate that the femur length is to foot length ratio is around 0.9 in 48 percent cases and one in uh, 52 percent of cases the scatter plots uh, depicts the relationship of uh, Various parameters calculated for determining gestational age, which showed a linear relationship in each and every case. Also, the femur length is to foot length ratio stored a constant uh, value between 0 0.9 to 1. We also calculated the Pearson correlation of gestational age. This showed that the gestational age uh, and the fetal foot length showed a Pearson correlation of 0 0.981 with p value being less than. 0.001 now the discussion so 200 pregnant women were considered for the study between 15 to 40 weeks gestation and it did not include any maternal conditions discovered throughout the course of investigation such as gestational hypertension diabetes or IUGR all these cases were excluded in the past gestational age uh, of fetus was estimated using BPD Studies show uh, the studies showed that between 20, 12 to 20 weeks of gestation, it is more accurate. However, beyond 24 weeks, BPD is still utilized as a factor for gestational age evaluation. The measurements they are not accurate when the head is brachycephalic or dolichocephalic. It was discovered that the femur length initially measured to detect short shortening of limb. It was an excellent criteria for determining the fetal gestational age. It was helpful in validating gestational age calculated from bipyramidal diameter. Also, the abdominal circumference, it must be close to circular while measurement. This is to avoid the salami effect, which results for, uh, in the formation of an oblique se segment. Abdominal circumference sure, uh, sometimes does not fit on screen, especially in third trimester. There are other issues such as direct anterior spine. This makes it challenging to visualize the cross-section of an aorta and uh, when the umbilical vein is obscured, 
by the post acoustic shadowing of fetal spine the outline may become non circular if fetal limb were to indented now there were certain uh, studies which were done earlier uh, the st the study re our study it reveals a distinct relationship between the fetal foot length and gestational age as well as significant correlation between both parameters the previous study such as one done by mirovit sattal uh, it showed that uh, fetal foot length was used for determining gestational age especially in cases where there was fetal aberrant growth in fetuses however we believe that measuring foot length remains valuable in such scenarios as it allows for determination of femur length to foot length ratio that ratio serves as a beneficiary supplementary tool for the continued assessment of fetal fetuses then the study in uh, done by campbell it showed that the femur length foot length ratio was approximately 1 across all gestational age uh, between 14 and 40 weeks according accordingly they came to a conclusion that the femur length to foot length ratio normoclam it can be used to distinguish between fetuses with irregular growth in arms and legs and inherent short limb dwarfism or iugr in cases of constitutionally small fetuses or symmetrical iugr the ratio is greater than or equal to 0.9 Conversely, in skeletal dysplasia, the ratio is less than 0.9 due to hands and feet being relatively spared. The femur foot length ratio was discovered by Johnson to serve as an extra EOG marker to help identify the fetuses likely to have trisomy 21. Our data indicates that the femur length to foot length ratio is around 0.9 in 48% instances and 1 in 52% instances. when necessary uhg mca doppler and physical examinations were used to rule out intrauterine growth restriction at birth and congenital anomalies were ruled out by uhg and postpartum therefore fetal prevalences with femur is to foot length ratio were of greater than equal to 0.9 for the current study it may be explained by the likelihood of fetuses are constitutionally small in comparison to the western population now the conclusion of our study Our study concluded that uh, there was a significant and a real association between foot length and gestational age. Furthermore, a strong association is observed between uh, foot length and femur length. Therefore, foot length can be used al alternatively as a fetal parameter to calculate gestational age when other standard parameters are inconsistent. given that fetuses in our nation are constitutionally small femur length is to foot length ratio was considered greater than or equal to 0.9 or 1 which is accepted as typical ultimately our study is finding support the notion that assessing foot length is a valuable measure that is always relevant especially when other parameters such as uh, bpd abdominal circumference head circumference femur length don't reliably indicate gestational age these are certain references that i have uh, followed for my study thank you for patiently listening to my uh, presentation